Lee, Bethany and Georgia speak about their experience at their triathlon event. For me it was definitely the swim because I thought it was a good experience and I hated the bike. <laughs> um, I like to run because it's in a strong use event but I hated the bike, that was really hard. I like the swim the best as well because I found it the easiest and the bike was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Over the last 10 years the successes around Bit Primary have been uh, phenomenal. The links in my early years and, and, and working with ASN schools, I think there's a real opportunity over the next four years to really focus our work around about secondary schools and provide even more opportunities for the pupils in there. The success of the build-up to Glasgow 2014 has created a buzz across Scotland, with the overall achievement of the Baton Relay and the lead-up to the Games. Yeah, I think what's been particularly nice for us this year is seeing so many of our young leaders go on to get opportunities within the Glasgow 2014 Games. So we have a number of young leaders that will be volunteering as Clydesiders. We have young leaders who will be part of the opening ceremony that will be um, leading out our second teams um, during the opening ceremony. And um, it's just great to see so many people that we've supported over the years really getting some high profile opportunities and unique opportunities that won't be around forever but they've maximised that and that's that's a nice outcome for us. And in terms of those links to Glasgow 214 and the Ryder Cup, we have an opportunity that we've probably never had before and we won't have probably for another decade or even longer. Um, and I think there's a real opportunity to connect sport with people who would normally have tried sport, who will see it on the telly um, and who want to give something a try. So this is a fantastic opportunity for us that we're going to grab with both hands and really run with. With Glasgow holding the 20th Commonwealth Games, Active Schools ran a Schools Legacy programme taking place between September 2013 and June 2014. Schools were each given more than 71 countries and territories. They were then invited to attend an opening ceremony given a two minute performance to celebrate their own country or territory. Each school was then invited to a series of sports festivals throughout the programme and to a closing ceremony that coincided with the Queen's Baton Relay visiting air. Here is Head of Education, Douglas Hutchinson, talking about the success of the Legacy Games. I think it, it's now, as the Games themselves are beginning, we had the opening ceremony last night, that, that it, it, it all comes together. You know, it's, it's a, a good number of months since the Active Schools team organised the opening ceremony events where each school came along, each school had their country, they did a wee presentation in their country. Um, the, the, game, the, the game's legacy events have raised expectations, they have raised awareness, they have also inspired and motivated uh, children as well because a lot of the events they've had um, uh, uh, a sports champion, somebody who has been successful in the past, either at the Olympics, or, you know, a medalist, or somebody who has, who has uh, been and competed in the Commonwealth Games or in the Olympics, and that inspires children when they actually meet somebody when they get to hold their medal. So I think the Games legacy events have been great for raising awareness, for raising expectation, for inspiring, and for motivating children. I think all that is, is clear, and I think all of that's coming together now. Now that the Games are actually here, uh, I think we'll see. Um, the benefit of everything that the, the Active Schools team have done uh, over the, the, the past. Active Schools has continued to progress and develop over the last 10 years. Dougie Millen highlights what they have achieved in the last 10 years. It's not changed much over the years, but the early part of Active Schools was about building relationships and getting into the schools. It's now established and it's a part of day-to-day -day life in schools and I think that's the biggest difference about it. That it's seen as a part of the school day and the staff and the coordinators are seen as a part of the school. But my impression is that the main difference has been that active schools are much more embedded in schools planning. They've been around for 10 years now and so schools are much more aware of what active school staff can bring to the school and to the young people. Um, and so schools are clearer about what active schools can do for them and for the children so they're more embedded as, as in schools planning they're more embedded in the life of the school and the activities uh, so i think there's an expectation amongst uh, staff in schools and there's an expectation among children uh, and young people of what the active schools team can bring to them can offer them the kinds of experiences they can bring so they're much more uh, involved because people know what they do, people know that they deliver for them, the kinds of really good quality experiences that young people can get. 
I think over the years too they have developed uh, in particular um, capacity amongst young people in relation to sports leadership. You know, there's some good develops going on developments going on there in terms of developing leadership capacity and skills amongst the young people themselves. So that's been a that's been a kind of growing area. So developed in a number of ways, but mainly I, I think they're they're embedded in people's planning and in people's awareness of what they can deliver for them. The community nature of active schools a positive impact on the community, with the success of the Queen's Baton Relay event in Roselle Park in AR being a prime example. Definitely think active schools has had a positive impact. Um, over the last few years we've steadily built on the number of children and young people that are participating in sport and physical activity with a record number last year. Um, we have a record number of volunteers um, delivering the programmes within schools, which is fantastic and a record number of volunteers accessing coach education, which has been amazing. And they have had a positive impact, and that's clear in uh, Kirsty's annual report, and uh, you know the evidence is clear in that. But it's clear in schools, it's clear in uh, the, the events you go to, the impact has been enormous. I mean, like the day they did at Roselle in relation to the baton, really, the, the opening uh, ceremonies that they did you know, just about a year ago, when you go along to these events, the the quality of the relationships that the children have with the active school staff, you can see that at all these events. You can see that at the Award of Ambition ceremonies. They have really good relationships the, with the staff themselves. So the impact is there. The evidence of impact is there. But in terms of young people's involvement, uh, more young people involved in physical activity, more young people involved in clubs, more young people taking leadership roles uh, in relation to... Um, physical activity and sport, so I'd, I'd say the impact is, is clear and, and obvious, yes. While Active Schools has to provide the service of a healthy and active lifestyle, the coordinators still benefit from it too. Um, it's great to be part of Active Schools, it's something that I've always been really passionate about, um, really passionate about making sure that children and young people get opportunities to take part in sport, it's something that I've always been involved in. Um, and it's brought a lot to my life to be physically active and be part of teams throughout my life um, and to be able to put something back into that system and make sure others have the opportunity. It, it's a great um, project to be part of. And from my perspective, I just feel really proud and really privileged to be working with such a motivated and enthusiastic bunch of people who are making such a difference to their communities and their authority. I really enjoy taking part and being part of the active skills team. I enjoy it. Yeah. It is definitely good. That you mean that you feel the children know you as someone who comes in to do good, fun things with them and the Absolutely. sports and they come in and up asking, can we do this after school? Is it the football club on today? Is it when do we get to come back and do this? So it is. It's quite positive going in and seeing the reaction from the children. It's quite rewarding. It's, it's I not, would say as well. It's not often you can walk into a school and there's a buzz of excitement, but when yeah. you, you walk in. The pupils do seem to be quite quite excited that you're there to deliver some sort mm -hmm. of sport or you're at least organising sport for their school so yeah. that they're quite they're quite happy to see you. So that it's part of the job, it makes all the organising in the office and all mm -hmm. the consent forms and answering all the emails, it makes it worthwhile when yeah. you go into a school and pupils are actually excited to see you and what you're bringing to the school. Mm -hmm. So it's quite good as well to see the kids progress. We've, we've been in post since 2008 and so you've seen the kids who are in the kind of upper premier now in secondary are taking part maybe in competitive sports as well or who are now volunteering for you as part of the coach academy so when I started there was a couple of boys who were doing a uh, handball through their school they now came part they do the coach academy they now play handball for Scotland and now they're going on to do they've just been accepted to PE teaching and they're running for the Queen's Baton really so seeing that progression of the children is quite positive and kind of rewarding in a way that's right yeah yeah the future of active schools is looking very promising. With continued support from Sports Scotland, there are still certain things that they want to achieve. Uh, active schools is a massive part of Sports Scotland's corporate plan as we go forward over the next four years, and particularly when we build a world-class sporting system. And we are committed to that, and um, we hope that, and, we're, and we're sure that South Ayrshire will be committed to that. What we want from that is, is active schools to continue to listen to their communities and the people that they work with and to deliver what those communities and those pupils need. I think for us, um, the next steps for us are to build some really strong pathways into community clubs and make sure that children are getting the opportunity to be active you know, in the evenings and at weekends as well as during the school time and after schools clubs along with active schools. So um, I think we have some really good examples of how that's worked well in South Ayrshire but I think there's a lot more that we could do um, and that's really where we'll be pushing the team to um, develop ideas over the next few years. It's just more of the same. 
Um, more of what they're doing, I would like to see them continuing to get young people active, to get continuing to get young people involved, enthused, motivated, instead of in the house playing their Xboxes or watching television or whatever, getting them out there. Because they have been really good, not just in relation to the, the game's legacy events, but in other ways, exposing children to different sports that they might not have tried or that they might not try. So I would like to see uh, children and young people, um, active schools, continuing to get children and young people involved in a variety of sports that they might not otherwise have tried or e involved in any sport or any physical activity. So continue to get young people active, continue to get young people involved, continue to give them the experiences that might lead them on to become much more active, much more involved, that might lead them to become involved in a sports club uh, and so continue that commitment beyond the time they're involved with active schools. So continue to get young people taking part and also developing young people's um, capacity through uh, capacity for leadership through the, the programmes that um, the active schools are involved with and developing young people's leadership skills and leadership abilities. So more of the same. I'd like to see active schools produce more an increase in pupils that are going on to future pathways onto mm -hmm. clubs. Um, just now, we, we do have a lot of pupils taking part in lots of different activities. Ideally, we'd love to pass these these pupils onto a club. Just now, it's great that they're all being active. However, if we run a six week block, it tends to come to a bit of an end at the end of the six weeks. I would love if we had a club in every cluster to pass them on to. So just now, in Girvan, I had a six week basketball block. They all love the basketball. When it comes to an end, we can hold a festival. It would be great to pass them on to, to our next club. And basketball is just one example of this. However, there's lots of different sports and we're all in kind of the same boat a little bit with them in the clubs. The clubs do great work in the authority. It would just be great if there was more and also junior sections to all these clubs as well. If, if they were to go on to clubs, there's so many talented athletes that it would be great to see them in the next Commonwealth Games, mm -hmm. for example. We're just yeah. from the local area and seeing that we started this, this mm -hmm. journey yeah, off. Yeah, no, definitely. I think it's working with the clubs to kind of create the capacity to take on these children. So some of the clubs are really keen to get all these extra children, but they don't have the capacity. So it's working with them to create that capacity. So through us having volunteers to then go and say, can you maybe help the club and create another slot for the children to go into? But also, I think it's seeing the kids who have taken part in the sports to go, I want to come do active schools, I want to help volunteer, so the younger ones who are now primary sevens who go into secondary and say I'm going to come back and volunteer because they had such a good experience um, delivering, well not delivering but to participate when they were younger. Sport Scotland has now extended its funding of active schools for another four years. This will create a promising future for active schools, allowing for the legacy of Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games, the Ryder Cup and the Sports League Leadership Programme to reach and inspire as many children and young people as possible within their clusters. Recruiting, retaining and developing a network of volunteers, coaches, leaders and teachers who provide these opportunities in either school or community sport hubs, while still building on relationships within schools and creating stronger pathways between schools and sport clubs to support the transition from schools to community sport ultimately creating and nurturing pathways and relationships to engage, motivate and inspire the sports coaches and stars of tomorrow.